Tonight, our second installment in my new series called CBS 6 Rewind. We're digging deep into our archives to take you back to moments in the Capital Region's history that you may not have known about or had forgotten about or might just enjoy seeing again. Tonight, a trip back in time to one of the most eagerly awaited construction projects in this area's history that drove tens of thousands of people to its grand opening and put downtown shopping habits on notice. There was a new kid in town. There was a time when shopping meant a trip to the store. But today, shopping giants like Amazon have blown a hole in brick and mortar businesses. Rewind to March 4th, 1984. A once open field whose chief claim to fame was home to an endangered butterfly completed its own transformation as it became the center of the universe here in the capital region. It was this, this idea of almost creating an, in, an internal town center and bringing people in, indoors for it. So it really became almost a, a new downtown really across America. What drove people to malls? The one stop, the convenience piece, um, as well as something new. Crossgates Mall was a metamorphosis that was 12 years in the making. Pyramid developers had first looked at the prime location at the intersection of the Northway and Thruway back in 1971. Retail follows rooftops. Where people live is where retail wants to be. But skyrocketing interest rates put Crossgates on hold. This project was so big, it was trimmed by 400,000 square feet before town fathers signed off on it. But that approval was not without challenges. The people have more rights here. Neighbors feared for their quality of life, their water supply, their pure air, and the Carner Blue Butterfly. Each and every one of us has rights, not an out-of-town developer. <laughs> That kind of battle would go on for years, but despite the ups and downs, the lure of a stronger local economy and bragging rights of having one of the largest malls in New York State won out. The grand opening of the million square foot shopping mall reeled in tens of thousands of people on that Sunday in March, hook, line and sinker. Four anchor stores and 168 smaller shops were the bait and the fish were biting. I'm just overwhelmed. It's just like New York. The opening was a stuck-in-traffic nightmare. Thousands of cars circled like vultures for hours in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic looking for a parking space. You had people that maybe were going to drive two hours to come to the mall. All 7,000 parking spots occupied and many more that weren't legal. Traffic was backed up on the Northway for miles. I think our number one problem right now is just lack of parking, period. Neighbors complained that even more cars belonging to eager shoppers were crowding their side streets when they couldn't find a spot in the lots. We're convinced that the traffic problems are solved. Inside, those frustrated drivers were missing highlights of a grand opening. Two months later, I emceed the launch of the Boston-based Filene's, one of the anchor stores at the mall. But on that day, WRGB weatherman Tim Welch kicked off the main event. How delighted uh, the city of Albany is to have you as a neighbor. Hundreds of people flooded the new mall for hours before the stores even opened, while TV crews captured the excitement. It's kind of hard to imagine, but less than 24 hours before this mall opened, not one tree, not one plant was in place. 4,000 people had worked through the night to add the finishing touches and put that greenery in place. This mall's come a long way in a big hurry. It's a heck of a nice mall. And over the years, it got even nicer. Fast forward to 1994, when an expansion nearly doubled the mall's size to 1.7 million square feet. In recent years, Crossgates has been reinventing itself to compete with the growing success of online retailers by moving to a focus on entertainment and experience. For them to be competitive today, they can't just be known for retail. They have to bring other amenities in to bring folks into that destination. Remember the 80s? When we try it, buy it, and then bring it home? Our Rewind recalls a time when the mall was the ultimate destination and Crossgates became the place to shop till you drop. Today, nearly 40 years later, Capital Region shoppers are eagerly awaiting another proposed construction project next to Crossgates, a 160,000 square foot Costco store and apartment complex on Western Avenue that might lead to another traffic stampede at its grand opening.